Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're going to be looking at a newer pixie that has been added to the Paula Young line of wigs. Her name is Cody and she's in a very exclusive color, brand new color for Paula Young and you're not going to want to miss this. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at Cody in the color Frosted Root Beer. In the catalog, this is what she looks like. And you can tell she's gonna be razor cut and one of those kind of wigs that's going to be spiky. And so it's not gonna give you a ton of coverage and hopefully she'll fit my large head. And so we're gonna try her on. But what she is, is a great little, I mean, she looks wonderful, but I want you to look at this color. This is something brand new for Paula Young. Paula Young has a variety of grays and, and I've got a separate video that we look at all the grays together. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. But this is something that we see in a lot of other lines that we have not yet seen in Paula Young's line. So what we have is a gray, silver gray up in the front and a little on the top but a brown gray mix combination on one wig. Now I believe this would be the color of 38, something like that. <clears throat> and this would be the color of 51 or 56. But to have them together on the same wig, that is something special. Let's take a look at the wig cap construction. Alrighty, so we have an open cap construction, which is going to be very cool, very great for summertime months. Open wefts on the top, allow the heat to um, escape, and you can stay cool. It also has this beautiful, wide, soft, velvety headband right here in the front, so you're not going to itch. We have a little bit of rose lace in the back here on the crown that allows you to have a little bit of permatease, so because we like to spike up some of those those little fine hairs. And then we also have um, open ear tabs, and they're little tiny ones right here, along with the Velcro adjusters in the back, there is not an extended nape. There's just a standard nape, but it has a soft velvet band on it. So that should help reduce some of the itching there as well. So that's our cap construction for Cody. Now, before I put her on, what I have on today is Victoria in Capri Copper. And she's just, I've done a review on her before, and this is just a different color. So anyway, you can look up that review on my library as well. So let's take a look. We're gonna put her on and keep our fingers crossed that she fits. All right, and gives me enough coverage. One thing that I know I'm, I'm, I'm happy about is the fact that the cap is a brown color. That helps with disguising any wefts that we might see. Okay, box hair, kind of for sure, but you know, it's almost, it is almost like the picture. <laughs> We've got to tame her down a little bit though. Let's take a look though. How does that look to you? Do you like this silver and then blending back into this brown mix on the same wig? See, we've got, I'll just do a spin as is. So we've got all this white up on top with the dark on the bottom. Let me see if I can, yeah. It might not be the kind of coverage that I personally like, but it might fit your head perfectly. All right, so we've got it up at my hairline. So the bangs are relatively short. They're meant to be spiky. I can tell right now, <clears throat> let me see if I can activate some of that permatease. Wake that up. And the, then this is supposed to be laying flat. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and spray it with water, okay? So I'm gonna be very liberal with my water. Doesn't hurt the fibers, helps to wake them up, and it also helps me to be able to style and change the direction that the box hair may have left, left me with. Okay, 
So I'm pretty well saturated. Now I have to tell you, I do like the darker roots. I did not realize that that was gonna have dark roots on top. So I'm really, I'm happy with that part. Okay, so do I like, okay, now this is my, these are my sideburns. So I'm not getting a lot of coverage with this particular wig. It's um, not, not covering me all the way. But I do have that problem when I get into shorter pixies. So that's why I kind of like the longer pixies for myself. Let's see, go over here. Let's play around with that a little bit. Get, get my own sideburns under there. And because my sideburns are gray, they're salt and pepper actually, I can get away with less coverage if I'm wearing a gray wig. Okay, so I like to kind of open up my forehead a little bit. I can do that with these bangs. And because my hairline resembles something like the hairline that we might find with this, I might be able to disguise this a little bit. But you can see it's kind of wanting to creep up a little bit. So if your head is on the smaller side, my circumference is 21 and a half inches. And I do find that I have trouble, if you've watched my other videos um, on wig reviews, Generally speaking, they don't cover my hairline. Now, I have found some Amazon wigs that just do a fabulous job. They cover all the way here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, traditional wigs purchased from wig companies doesn't really give me that kind of coverage unless I were to purchase a large. Now, this wig, I believe, only comes in average and it comes in 22 colors so it's got a lot of selection this is the frosted root beer color and it's very short and spiky so you know if you like a short pixie this might be a really good good um wig for you let me do a spin okay now she's pretty well kind of finger combed all through We've got that stop start line between the silver hair and the brown hair underneath, which can give it a, a you know kind of that salon appearance where you know we have the tops of the the ends of our hair um, toned, bleached and toned, and that's what this is meant to do. So we can comb it down. You know, we have got a, we've got a couple of options. Yeah, you really on my hair. I can really see my sideburns a lot. Yeah, cause see, here's my sideburns and this is not covering all of it. So I would probably not, unless I shaved my hair underneath my bio hair, shaved it all off, then I would be able to do it. But it is kind of a cute little pixie, you know, um, just simple, easy. Um, let's see, if I wanted to spike it or bring bring the bangs all straight forward. And I've got a couple of friends who do like to comb their hair this way. They start at the cowlick back here and just bring it forward. And that's the way they like to wear it, okay? So that way we can also side sweep the bangs a little bit. No, They might need some coaxing one way or the other. But I do kind of, I really do like this dark, this dark rooting. So, now the measurements for this particular wig are that the front is three and three quarters length. So that's what makes that short bang. But the top and the crown is exactly the same length. So that's how you get that really gradual shortened look that looks so nice and tapered. The sides are two and three quarters inches. The upper back is two and three quarters inches. And then the nape is only an inch and a half. So if you're, and plus my own measurement from my widow's peak to my chin is eight inches. Now I can measure it from here to there. So if your measurements are similar to mine, you might end up having a little bit of uh, exposure here on the sides. That is... Cody, 
and she's fairly new to the Polly Young line. And of course, this color is exclusive just to this hairstyle. So you may, if you want this hair, this hair color, you're only going to be able to get it in this pixie. So really kind of cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it informational. Um, hope all of it could have been informational. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. You have a blessed day and we will see you next time. Okay. Bye.